Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and talk about the format map string method and what the format map... <laughs> wow, that is a tongue twister. Format map string method does is it takes a direct dictionary as an argument versus the format string method that takes a set of keywords, converts them in, or copies them into a sh dictionary and passes them there. So basically it takes a direct uh, dictionary. So in this tutorial, you guys, if you're new to programming or new to Python, probably won't understand everything I'm doing here, but I'm gonna pass a function or I'm gonna create a function and pass in our argument as a parameter. All right, so I'll try to talk you guys through it. If you don't understand, that's fine. Just try to get the concept of what is going on. If not, eventually you'll learn about functions and parameters and arguments and you guys will be uh, professionals and you won't need me anymore. So we're gonna define, so we define a function with DEF. We're gonna name that function as response and you're gonna um, pass in a parameter of PAR and then we're gonna close out our function header line with a colon we are come down hit return tab in and now we're going to do res is equal to and now i'm going to create a string i'm going to say my name is and it's going to be a curly brace and then first underscore name and this is how we're going to get our um, key from our dictionary or value from our dictionary via key and then i'm going to do curly brace last underscore name and then curly brace and I'm gonna say I live in and then I'm gonna pass in a state variable so in here state like that and we're gonna go ahead and close out our string and we'll say format underscore map and we're gonna go ahead and pass the parameter in here hit return I'm gonna tab in and return res all right come down there we go there's our function so what we're doing is we're passing a parameter which is going to be a dictionary because we're using fat format map and we're going to pass it in here and it's going to take the dictionary keys which a diction oh i'll show you in a second i'm not going to type it out and insert them in here and return this string all right so let's go ahead and create our dictionary so par is going to represent our dictionary as a variable we're going to create the dictionary now and we create a dictionary with curly braces and it's going to be a string so this is slightly different than the format method where we use the keyword without creating or the key what am i trying to say here? the key didn't have to be in a string format now that we're creating a dictionary and we're passing it from the outside it has to be in a dictionary format so first oops first underscore name and colon my first name is tom and then comma and then the last name like this and colon and my last name is Myers like that and then colon and what was the other one state and we'll do a colon again and I'm from PA and there we go Hit return and now we're gonna call the function response like that and pass in the argument as par which goes to this parameter up here comes down here and we're gonna format it that way hit return my name is Tom Myers and I live in PA. All right, so notice it's very similar to the format string method, but the difference is we gotta pass in a dictionary. Here's the dictionary, all right? The format, now we could take this string, we could actually take all this here and remove some of this and do it this way, because formats like this first, underscore name is equal to Tom uh, comma last underscore name is equal to then my last name and then comma and then state is equal to and then my last name I uh, yeah, my last name my state I should say and we'll close it out hit return and we call our yes and there we go we got the same thing all right so Notice the difference between the two. Uh, first off, we're passing an actual dictionary here. These parameters right here are passed, since they're keywords, they're copied into a dictionary and then treated as a dictionary behind the scenes, all right? 
um, where we're creating an actual dictionary and passing it with the format map method. Alrighty. So one of the cool things about the format map method is if we're missing data, uh, we can actually say, hey, we're missing data, just return the name of the key. Let's take a look at that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a class, which you know may be over your guys' head right now at this point of your learning, but just follow along. We'll create a class, we're gonna say response. Woo, that's not how you spell response. And then we'll just say uh, dictionary is our parameter. And we're gonna come in here and say define dash uh, underscore underscore missing underscore underscore and self comma key and there we go. And then we're gonna come in here and return key like that. And we're gonna go ahead and do print. Um, my name is, and we're gonna go ahead and do first first underscore name like that and it's the same thing we've been doing last underscore name like that and I live in state like that and close out our string whoops I use single hyphen and we're gonna do format map and then here we're gonna do response and then we're gonna do first underscore name is equal to Tom comma then we're gonna do last name is equal to my last name Myers comma and we'll leave it at that because I wanted to show you something all right so we gotta close out three parentheses for the print statement for the format map method and the response there we go. The response is the class up here if you're wondering where that comes into play. All right, and the response takes a dictionary. So we're passing a copy in. Now let's treat it like the uh, format, regular format string method. So we'll hit return and I got an error. What did I, oh, I spelled format wrong. Unbelievable, Tom. All this work and you screw up the simplest things ever. Actually, I do this every day of my life. There we go. Boom. My name is Tom Myers and I live in state. Notice state, we never fill out state and it just returns state to us because we're missing a key. So this right here, this method right here is saying, hey, all right, if it's missing, just return the key as the name. That's one of the cool things that you can do with the format map method. All right, so if you guys have any questions, let me know at mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about something. I'll see you then.